we're heading back to Cambodia, where another surprisingly smart animal is helping to save lives. A long history of conflict in this country has left it devastated by landmines. Finding these mines has relied upon experts in body armor painstakingly sweeping with metal detectors. But it's estimated that five million deadly devices still litter the countryside. Removing mines is dangerous and expensive, but that's about to change. Patrick Ayi is about to meet a crack detection squad flown in from Tanzania. And these guys are totally unique. They're rats, which are known for their high intelligence and for having a sharper sense of smell than dogs. From a few weeks old, these rats have been trained to sniff out TNT, the explosive found in landmines. They're not your common urban rat, but African giant pouched rats. They have successfully detected thousands of mines in Africa, and now Cambodia is hoping to deploy 16 of these extraordinary animals. Patrick is with team leader Thiap Bunthorn, also known as BT, and his trainee. Who do we have here and why is she playing in this giant sandpit? Her name is Layla. We put her in this to train to find the landmines. The team have buried three dummy landmines in this sandbox. Each mine contains a minuscule trace of TNT. That nose is always sniffing, smelling the area, smelling the ground, sniffing the air. Layla's handler, Mark Shakuru, is using a wire attached to her harness to guide her systematically over the entire area. And because of the tape measure from the guide wire, he knows when she is above one of the deactivated mines. Mark's eyes are fixed on Layla as he waits for her to give him the signal. But of course, he doesn't speak rat. When they sense the smell of TNT, she starts putting her nose into the air. Mm -hmm. And then she starts to scratch. When Layla scratches the ground like this, she's indicating that she's found explosives. You hear the sound. So it's scratching on the ground, and we heard that click. When she hears a click from Mark, she knows that she will be rewarded with a peanut or banana. It's thanks to their intelligence that these rats can be trained with food and a click so easily from a young age. Over time, the handlers reduce the TNT concentrations that the rats are exposed to until they can detect a mine buried 30 centimeters under the ground. Isn't it unfair on these rats to be putting them in, in such danger? It's not because uh, they are lighter. They cannot detonate a landmine. Because in order to detonate a landmine, you need at least 5 kgs. These rodents typically weigh in at around 1 kilo, which is one of the key reasons why Layla is considered better suited to be a mine detector than a dog. Can we actually see if she's getting this right? Because yeah, you're telling me this, but... I want to actually see if it's, it. if it's true. Yeah, yeah. I don't believe it just yet. You haven't got me just yet. Yeah. <laughs> so let's see if Layla got it right. When a rat indicates a landmine, disposal experts will carefully probe, then dig around the object to reveal it. Oh, wow, look at that. OK, now oh. you see. Mm. Mark knows that the relationship between a rat and its handler could be the difference between life and death. When we go for the operational, in the real minefield, there is no markings over there. No one knows where is a mine. So you have to rely on your, 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 your rat. So you're working as a team. Layla has proved that she can pinpoint TNT in an isolated pit, and she's happy doing it. But in the real world, there will be other smells that can confuse these rats. Wow. Mark's colleague, Sharima Vandaline, is putting another African rat through a different stage of training. 
Because it was raised in Tanzania, this rat needs a crash course in the smells and sounds of Cambodia. This is something completely new. There are new sights, smells. I can smell motorbikes, food, spices. This is vital training to ensure that rats aren't distracted when searching for TNT. Compared to us, these rats have 50 times the number of smell receptors in their nose. So it's understandable that this rat's whiskers have gone into overdrive. As news spreads of the hero rats, many of the locals are seeing what they once saw as vermin in a new light. It's nice, yeah? Yes. But not everyone is ready to get up close and personal with a kilo of rodent. You want to say hello? Touch it. No? Hey. <laughs> Whilst the kids are inquisitive about the giant rat, the adults may take more convincing. Finally, it's back to rat boot camp for a well-earned sleep. After 12 months of training, the hero rats are just weeks from active service. Training in a sandpit is one thing, but it's vital the rats are used to working in a training field that more closely resembles the Cambodian countryside, with all the other smells that could distract these super sniffers. To make it more realistic, the team has buried all kinds of things, including discarded metal objects, which you'd typically find in the ground with mines. These objects force a human team with metal detectors to stop and carefully dig each object up, wasting valuable time. But how will the rats cope? So here you've also got other metal fragments. Yes, because we want to confuse the rats. Ah. The first decoy is a tin can. And it's right under her nose. But she's not fooled. Brilliant. But will she locate the dummy mine with a newcomer at the reins? Even with a novice like Patrick in charge, Layla quickly goes to work. She's got that nose in the air. Layla's scratching. That's a landmine. <laughs> hey, well done. Time for a nutty reward. There you go. Yeah, Layla yeah. doesn't miss a single marker in the whole area. It would take these rats about, what, 15, 20 minutes to search an area 200 square meters, whereas it would take a human team five days. Yes. It's so amazing. These hero rats with their astonishing sense of smell have already helped clear 13,000 landmines from Mozambique, rendering the country mine-free. I hope that this tool can assist a lot in Cambodia so the people can get their lands. To get their lives back. Yeah, and their lives better off. Yeah. All because of one small rat. Yes, you are right. Layla and her sniffing bomb squad are now successfully deployed on their first official tour of duty in Cambodia.